All right, I know you you did a season wrap up that you posted uh, earlier today. Um, take us through off season um, to do list and some of the other things that you detailed in um, in that article. Yeah, I went through best and worst you know moments and players. You know, I had Batonio as my top player. Um, Anthony Schwartz was the, at the bottom of the roster just because he dealt with so much injuries and drops and then mental health issues. Finishes the season on IR, just hasn't had the impact that the Browns hoped he would. Um, and then you know the Good moments and bad moments, we know what those are. And, and I think the to-do list starts with the roster. You know, I mean, that's it's always what you focus on, right? They took care of defensive coordinator already by making the move from Joe Woods to Jim Schwartz. Now it's about filling out the roster, and a lot of it's on defense. It's getting two D tackles. In, in my opinion, one standout defensive tackle. Getting another big-time defensive end opposite Miles Garrett. Um, you know, do you have to make a move at safety? I think that's interesting. And then receiver. Right, you got Amari Cooper, you got Donovan Peoples Jones, you know, David Bell and Michael Woods, but the and Anthony Schwartz, but you need another guy. And whether that guy's the two or the three, you know, you can figure that out with Peoples Jones, but it needs to be, in my opinion, someone with a bunch of speed that can threaten the defense vertically and horizontally, right? Those jet sweeps, the shallow crosses, even the you know, the bubble screens, where if you have that ability to just break away, it, it makes a lot of difference. You know, you, you mentioned um, uh, the defense. How big of a factor do you think Jim Schwartz can be in getting some of those young? In, in other words, I kind of got the feeling that they were asking guys to do things that weren't their strength, and I, that's kind of crazy. I think Jim Schwartz is going to have guys that, all right, these guys can can stuff the run, so we're going to put them down and put them in in running situations. These guys, not great against the run, but we're not going to ask them to try to play against the run. Yeah, I think there's something to be said for that, for sure. I mean, the guy's got a great track record, right? Head coach, defensive coordinator, 14 years in this league, highly ranked um, units throughout his time. So I, I think that is something. Um, it's going to be interesting to see, Dave, what they do. Like, I assume they're going to add, you know, three, like, quality defensive linemen, like I just mentioned. So, but then do you count on Schwartz if you can't do that, right? If you only add one D tackle in one end, then do you say to Schwartz, all right, you got to make it work with a new defensive tackle, Jordan Elliott, Perry and Winfrey, and Tommy Togia, right? And maybe that's what they say. They say, hey, you know, we're not going to be perfect across the roster. There's not the money to do that under the salary cap. So figure it out. And the same could be said at safety, right? Um, but to your point about putting guys in good positions, I think that starts with a guy like, I think, a Perry on Winfrey right away. If he solves his maturity issues, then how can you best use him? Because I do think there's talent there in – disruptive talent it can be um jok right how do you use him at linebacker to get the most out of him um schwartz talked about playing fast and aggressive and that's what jok wants to do so maybe he can free him up take more off his table or more off his plate because that's one of the things that players said at the end of the year was it felt like joe woods not that his system was overly complicated but they didn't get the they didn't have just the freedom to go play and you know and i think schwartz his goal is to give him that freedom. Yeah, and uh, I, I would agree. The the One of the interesting things he said was, a high school coach will be able to draw up what we're doing schematically. It's just about communication and then letting them free. And, and that kind of anxious to see that. 